everyone understands that a falling object is more dangerous than a stationary one, and it's generally accepted that the greater the height from which the object falls, the more likely it is to cause serious injury, and perhaps even death. It's certainly a dark and fascinating topic, and we're going to be investigating a very particular scenario when it comes to objects falling from a height. A scenario where a pencil is falling towards you from a height of hundreds of meters. The question then is, can a pencil thrown from the top of a skyscraper actually kill you? The various laws and principles surrounding the dynamics of falling objects is a subject that has been explored a great deal in physics. With the help of this research, we have a strong understanding of the way falling objects behave depending on external variables such as air resistance and height, as well as the object's physical properties. We can use this understanding and apply it theoretically to the question at hand. If something as harmless and ordinary as a pencil could really become a deadly missile if it falls from a great enough height. It's not just the height from which an object is falling that matters, because the weight and shape of the object are just as important. For a falling object to kill someone, a combination of all these factors would be necessary in order for it to generate enough force to create a lethal impact. In this scenario, it's already been established that the pencil is falling from a skyscraper. From this observation, the situation doesn't look especially promising or hopeful, considering that the average skyscraper is almost 250 meters tall, with the tallest ones reaching heights of more than 500 100 and even 800 meters. There have been experiments investigating whether a penny falling from a skyscraper would have enough deadly force, which is a popular urban myth. The experiments found that the only situation where a falling penny could kill someone would be if the Earth had no atmosphere and the penny was falling in a vacuum. In reality, the Earth's atmosphere exerts a drag force on the penny, which prevents it from continuously accelerating all the way down. Eventually, the air resistance pushing against the penny would be equal to the force of the gravity pulling the penny downwards. When these opposing forces are balanced, the penny would continue falling, but it would no longer accelerate, having reached its maximum speed. A falling penny might sting a little if it was to make contact with your head, but it certainly wouldn't kill you. So, it's been established that falling pennies are relatively harmless, but the average penny weighs just a couple of grams and they're small, flat and round. This isn't a particularly aerodynamic shape, and it is for this reason that a penny will achieve terminal velocity well before it makes contact with anyone. However, the findings of these experiments can't really be applied to pencils, and this is because the properties of a penny and those of a pencil couldn't be more different. Pencils weigh twice as much as a penny at approximately 5 grams, and their aerodynamic, tapered and pointed shape means that they won't reach terminal velocity as quickly, until then continuing to accelerate and gather momentum. A penny will reach terminal velocity after around 50 feet of freefall, and will then tumble and flutter down until it reaches the ground at only 25 miles per hour. How dangerous a falling pencil is, on the other hand, depends on the way it falls. A pencil can either spin and rotate as it falls, or come hurtling down to the ground with the brute force of a torpedo. In the unfortunate event that a pencil drops to the ground like an arrow, it could reach a speed of up to 200 miles per hour. This speed could easily generate enough force to chip a concrete pavement or bore a hole into a wooden plank. You certainly wouldn't want it hitting you on the head. In the event that a pencil is dropped perfectly vertically from a skyscraper, there is a chance that it could reach a velocity exceeding 200 miles per hour. In this instance, it could piece your skull as if it were an arrow and potentially kill you. And even if the pencil didn't piece your skull, it could still cause some serious damage with the blunt force alone. So if someone ever asks you whether a pencil thrown from the top of a skyscraper could kill you, the answer is yes. Before you start seriously considering wearing a helmet when you go sightseeing, however, keep in mind that there's no one throwing pencils off skyscrapers with murderous intent, hopefully. And even if there was, it's only in rare and exceptional circumstances that the pencil would actually kill you.